So if you guys have watched my channel, one thing you'll probably notice is that I like to jump around from project to project. So I have a lot of different side projects. Some of them are kind of successful. Some of them are just like throwaway things. And I wanted to talk about why I like to do so many side projects and if you should be doing this many side projects or if you should just stick to one. So when it comes to a side project, the main reason I like making side projects is typically I have a question, right? So I have like a simple little question and I wanna answer that question. So one of the first things I can kind of talk about is my icon generator application. So I had a question of, can I build an application using Stripe and a credit system? That was my main question, that was my goal. Um, so like set a goal or have a question you want to answer, a problem you want to solve, that type of thing. So when you're building out a side project, that's typically what I do is I have one goal that I'm trying to achieve on the side project because I know how to create CRUD applications. I know how to do database stuff and front end stuff and make widgets and whatnot. All that stuff I figured out. But now when I create a new side project, there's usually something very specific that I'm trying to learn. So like learn Stripe credit system. Um, and that was for the icon generator. Let me also add this green circle. So the green circle is basically my, my current knowledge. So I'm gonna say my current knowledge. So this is a lot of stuff. I know a lot of stuff about web development, but there's still a lot to learn, right? So for example, when I have never integrated with Stripe because a lot of people don't actually work on private sector applications that require credit cards. For example, I've been in the industry for like 11, 12 years. And one thing that I've never actually worked on is an application that accepts money from customers. As crazy as that sounds, there's quite a lot of software systems that are either A, internally inside of big corporations that don't necessarily take in credit card information or need to use Stripe or subscriptions or anything like that, or government systems where people are paying you to build something to make their current processes inside of their building or inside their organization more efficient. So again, there's no reason to like take people's credit cards and have them buy things from your site. So the icon generator site project was mainly to answer that question and to prove myself, I can set a goal of making an application that takes in a Stripe payment. And I think there's some other stuff along the way that I kind of played around with. So typically with a side project, it's usually like a small set of things I'm trying to learn. Maybe it's like learning a new language or learning a new framework, but I really try not to bite off too much at the same time. For example, if I'm learning like Tansac Start, I'm probably gonna stick with the same database. I'm gonna stick with the same Tailwind CSS. I'm gonna stick with the same Shad CN component system. The only variable that I change is the actual framework. So I can just really focus in on that one thing learn it well and not get distracted by having to learn too many things at the same time. So after doing icon generator, I set another goal. So for project planner AI, I wanted to try to build out an application that actually did Stripe subscriptions. I'm gonna go ahead and change this one to a blue because like I learned it, but then there's something else that I needed to learn. I had another question. I'm gonna say Stripe subscriptions. This is a new unknown that I've never done before in my career. And I really wanted to try to find a way to expand my knowledge base to now include that. So that's when I built out Project Planner AI, which was in Next.js. And along the way, this one, I learned a lot about like AWS hosting. I learned about getting DDoS. And then I refactored everything to host on Railway so that if I got DDoS, I at least have some type of spending limit in place. But again, the main goal was like make an application that had Stripe subscriptions enabled. And that's kind of what I did there. Fast forwarding a little bit more, here is another side project that I worked on where I have a course platform which hosts all of my React Challenges videos. So again, I wanted to learn TAN Stack Start. So the next question or goal was TAN Stack Start. This is using Postgres. So again, it's a database I've already used. It's using Shad CN with Tailwind CSS. There's nothing too new there. But since I kind of got the Stripe subscriptions locked down, I got the Stripe credit system locked down, I now have like this ability to quickly clone a new project. Like I have all these other side projects I've done in the past. And now I have this nice reservoir of like example projects I can quickly just clone and I modify some things. I change the title of the HTML. I change the title of the logo. And then everything's basically already set up, ready to go. So like I have a starter kit basically. And then I have like a bunch of other side projects, right? I have like the writing platform that I kind of worked on. I've been making some videos about that. But my most recent thing, my most recent side project that I've created yet again, the reason I'm working on this is because I really want to try to figure out how to build something like Cursor or how to build something like WinSurf or Bolt.new, right? I wanted to figure out how do these people build a system that allows you to no code generate an entire static site. And then eventually the main question I'm trying to do with this, I'm gonna go ahead and say like, um, 
how does bolt.new work? That's kind of like the main question I'm going for with this uh, side project that I'm kind of working on. But another thing I really want to understand, how to provide domain hosting for clients. So this is another question I want to get to at some point with this side project where when someone generates their static site, and like right now we're kind of previewing it, I want to add a button down here where they can click to publish it. And then in whatever DNS service that they're using, they can set up a CNAME record and point it to their now deployed application. So those are the two questions that I really want to play around with right now because that's not something that I've done in my career. And again, a lot of stuff I do on this YouTube channel, I try to expand my knowledge in ways that my current job are just not able to do because depending on the project you are on at work, you may or may not get exposed to certain things. Like I mentioned, I had no exposure to Stripe or any of these like billing platforms at all throughout my entire career. And so a lot of this stuff I actually have to do on the side to get some exposure to it. And I would say a lot of the stuff I do on my channel are smaller scale indie hacking type of projects. So I try to always ask some new questions, try to learn some new things. And that's why I have so many unfinished side projects. Like honestly, it'd be great if I could make a side project that makes me rich or I could like have like a nice, you know, 5,000 monthly recurring revenue off these side projects. But at the end of the day, it's really about just the joy of learning new things and just expanding the things I know so that later on when I'm asked to build something, it doesn't feel intimidating or I can actually explain it very well because I have an example of me doing it in the past. Anyway, I just want to make a quick little video about this and kind of give you my ideas about why I think working on side projects is good and why I like to abandon a lot of my side projects because I feel like I answer that question, right? I answer the question that I originally sought out to learn or figure out and then I get bored and I need to move on to something else. Eventually, one of these projects, like keep my fingers crossed, one of these projects will take off and I will get a bunch of users and I would feel more successful. But right now, you have to kind of look at the silver lining. Like I'm still learning stuff as I'm building out. And I also get to share the things I learned along the way with my viewers. So that's about it. Let me know if you guys have a nice side project you guys like to work on. Is this strategy something you like to do? Do you like to just bounce around from project to project? And once you figure out the hard parts of whatever you're prototyping, you kind of move on to something else. That's kind of been my motto for uh, the past, I don't know, 12 years or something. But that's about it. Have a good day and happy coding.